culture would have us believe that all sharks are reckless killing machines, attacking swimmers and divers all the time. The media would have us fear sharks as deadly men eating monsters from the deep. This is a myth. Hola, my name is Jorge Loria. I run Phantom Divers, pioneers of bull shark diving in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. You know, more people are killed each year from lightning than by sharks. There are about 70 shark attacks reported each year, but only five of them are mortal. Yes, sharks do attack, but usually out of confusion in shallow murky water. Sharks do not have hands to feel. They do it with their snout, then they bite. They also have gustative glands that helps them determine if it's food or not. Luckily, we're not part of their menu. Sharks have inhabited the planet over 4 million years, and due to our lack of knowledge, we fear them. The information we have now on their behavior is quite extensive, and we should learn more about them. Over the years, we have got much closer to them, allowing us to feed them under controlled conditions. You know what? Sharks have been feeding in this area long before we came here. The amount of fish we provide is very little to what they need to eat to survive, so we're not upsetting their natural feeding behavior. Actually, this type of dive gives us a great opportunity to get close, take pictures, measure, and tag them so we can study their behavior and their swimming patterns with the help of saving our shark scientists. These amazing creatures are bull sharks, recognizable by their much fatter appearance with a wide round snout, not pointed like other sharks. They have two dorsal fins, one larger than the other. They can reach a length of 10 feet and weigh up to 600 pounds. Hi, my name is Ramon Magaña. Bull sharks is among the three most dangerous species. The other two is the tiger and the great white. Bull sharks can swim in shallow murky water and go up to freshwater rivers, putting themselves in close proximity to humans. This is where incident happens, when the shark mistaken us for food. Today, we are diving in high visibility water, where the sharks can easily distinguish us from fish. Even so, first and foremost on this dive, is safety, and the person in charge of safety is my co-worker, David Martinez. Thank you, Chino. Today I will be your safety diver on this incredible adventure. This dive is a deep dive, a static dive with current. That's why we require divers with good diving skills capable of going down by themselves. It's very important that all the divers follow the rules to have a safe and fun dive. Now, please pay attention. Once on board, I will assign you a place. It's very important you remain seated so we can assist you. Please avoid walking around the boat. When you are in your place with your wetsuit on, we will give you your weights. You will be weighted heavier for this dive to ensure you can easily go down and stay on the bottom. We will help you put on your equipment. Do not take any shiny or bright colored objects with you. On the dive site, which is a few minutes away, at the count of three, we will do a back row entry. On the surface, we will form a team and descend together as a tight group. This dive is 80 feet deep with 25 minutes bottom time. We will have great visibility and some current so it's important we descend and stay together. In case a diver cannot go down, he should get back to the boat. For no reason, go down on your own. On the bottom, you will find a rope. You will need to lay down on your stomach and grab the rope. It is important to line up shoulder to shoulder. Do not pass the rope, so you don't block the view of other divers. Keep your hands holding the rope at all times. For no reason, extend your hands out. The use of cameras is allowed. If you wish to take photos, do not abandon your position. You should keep your hands and your camera under the rope. For no reason, hold up your camera. GoPro sticks are not permitted. This ruins other divers' pictures. Professional photographers will receive an extra photo briefing. 
If any food falls near you, do not touch it. Just move back and signal. One of our security divers will remove it. Do not touch the sharks. We are professionals and we use a special protection. Always be ready for my signal. When you get the up signal, we will ascend as one group all together at one foot per second. It's not allowed to stay longer. Remember to inflate your jacket since you are overweighted. You should control your ascent rate. We will make a safety stop at 15 feet. We will stay for three minutes. Once on the surface, you should inflate your BCD, hang your mask around your neck and remain with the group. Avoid excessive movements and splashing water. The boat captain will throw a buoy with a rope. You must hold the rope and wait for your turn to get on the boat. It is very important you conduct yourself as a responsible diver and follow this plan for your own safety and the safety of the group. Now, let's have fun. The very sad fact is that over 100 million sharks are killed every year by humans. We are a threat to them not them, to us. Commercial fishing is often just to sell their fins for soup. The rest of the shark is not consumed. Sharks are at the top of the food chain. They have been there for millions of years. A threat to them is a threat to the balance of the whole marine ecosystem. Hi, my name is Luis Lombardo. By participating in this shark dive, you are directly collaborating with the project of saving our shark, and you will gain first-hand knowledge of this misunderstood creature. Now that you have witnessed the behavior of these amazing creatures, please help us to save our sharks and our planet.